think the population of chickens in Sayulita is higher than the population of humans in Sayulita. Yeah, and I love them. They're so adorable. Squeeze. Tight squeeze. Did you miss this? I missed this. You really you did. The smell of mm. an old dusty bus. Mm. Ah. Think about how many sweaty bodies have been right here. Mm. Ah. Pro tip. Pro tip. Do not get on one of these buses with a full stomach. Oh, 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 Why not? Don't ask me how I know. quickly discovered the downside to living in Sayulita. It's also the upside, but the downside is that it's a very small town population, like 3,500 people. So there's no grocery store. There are little small corner stores, and that's typically where we would shop from in Vallarta. Small corner stores and like a market, just a regular Mexican market. There's not a, a regular Mexican market there that we found, and there's not a grocery store, and the tienditas seem to be charging quite a bit more than the grocery store. So needless to say, we've taken the 45 minute hike over to Busadillas Nayarit wow. to La Comer. In an effort to save money, we have spent $3.50 just to get here. We're gonna need an Uber home, so my accounting brain is starting to question whether this is worth it, not to mention the 45 minutes, but we're here now. What happened to Captain? Did he get canceled? What? You see this? No. What? Somebody tell me what's going on here. I think we missed something. Concha flavored cereal. 162 pesos. I don't even know the math on that, but something like $8. You know what this means. Or if you don't, I'll just tell you. It's to make micheladas. <laughs> wow, I'm a loser. <laughs> we bought this exact salt in town at a little corner store for 40 pesos. It was so about $2. Here it is 23 pesos, so about a dollar. So that kind of, you know, it didn't seem like, you know, it's just a dollar difference. Really, it's double though, and I feel like Pretty much everything we've paid for in town seems like it's been about one and a half to two times more than the grocery store. But if you just get in town, you don't have to go to the grocery stores. Maria, Maria. I just saw this old lady drinking a beer in here. Yeah. You really, really did? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I'm like embarrassed as a foreigner, because it was a foreigner, of course, or if I'm like, if that's goals. I think I'm a little embarrassed. Should last a week. Why do we get this brand? Because it's the only one that has a jingle, Atun Dolores. So, that's what you gotta get. There you go. Jingles in advertising do indeed work. Since jingles work so well, we asked artificial intelligence to write us our very own jingle for Contolo Coffee. Here's how it went. Contolo Coffee, oh so fine. 100% Mexican all the time. From the field straight to your cup. Ethically sourced, bottoms up. Wake up happy, start your day, con todo coffee all the way. <laughs> wow. Shop our full lineup of 100% Mexican coffee at contodocoffee.com.
<laughs> You're proud of yourself? Necessities. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time we've gotten out of Sayulita since we got here to Mexico, and I think we're realizing like just how much of like Sayulita feels like an island. It just feels like you're so isolated from everything. And on one hand, like that's that's bad because things are expensive. It's like Hawaii, right? Like everything there is more expensive. When we go to the little store, the store has to make their money and the person that came to La Comer or Costco and bought the stuff and brought it over there has to make their money. So everything's just more expensive. But it's just like busy here, like just even just coming through Busadias, being here, it's just a completely different vibe. As busy as Sayulita is, I don't know, it's difficult to explain. It feels like small town busy. It feels like it's just this little village busy. Whereas coming here to the grocery stores, like this is, this is big town busy. And to be quite honest, I don't really like that. I think I'm realizing just how much I love the small town feel of Sayulita. seven pesos later and I think we got lunch I think we got lunch now I think we got we're hoping this will last us four weeks we'll keep you updated in future videos because that might be the biggest grocery trip we have ever done in probably the entirety of our marriage we almost always go to the grocery store like several times a week no matter where we've lived in the world so this was this was difficult for us This is where we're meant to be. Oh, this is where we're meant to be. Feels good to be back at our little island oasis. It's not an island. But it feels like one. Just somehow, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. Yeah, hell, yeah. Go, 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 go. These were the least amount of waves we've ever seen here in Saigon. You mean the big kahuna. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you surfed, the big kahuna? Yeah, if you put my clip in fast motion and make the wave, genetically modify the wave to be bigger. I'm not that good at editing. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaicans for some delicious guacamole. 51 pesos, about $2.50. We already have an onion and this is, I make the best guacamole, is that, is that? I feel like that's very like not humble, but your dad it's might really feel offended. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are the bean warrior of my dreams. Check out this presentation. This is the most legitimate guac I've ever made. Also, I feel like this is how they serve it at a restaurant with like a ton of avocado and like two little totopos. Two little just like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like I could eat this with a spoon, but that's beautiful. It's almost too pretty to eat. Almost. <laughs>